Meu, para tudo que você tá fazendo aí, na moral, para tudo que você tá fazendo pra vir assistir comigo meia hora de gameplay de Phantom Blade Zero, o game que a gente viu e hypou e pirou, né, no último Summer Game Fest, foi o, o jogo que, um dos poucos jogos que salvaram o evento e tá tendo hands -on, né, a galera que tá lá em Los Angeles tá podendo testar e eles levaram a IGN, tem um palco no IGN Live, e eles levaram os produtores do jogo pra estar tá jogando lá e mostrando as mecânicas. Então bora ver isso. Isso junto. Desculpa, vamos lá. Eita, mano. Deixa eu voltar flair. aqui no começo aqui. How is it going, IGN Live? I am so excited to be here. We have a very special look at Phantom Blade Zero, which is a brand new action RPG featuring a dark art style, fast-paced combat, and a kung fu punk inspired style that blends traditional wuxia combat with a unique fantasy flair. Here to show us a extended look at Phantom Blade Zero gameplay, please welcome the founder of S Game, Soul Frame, and community manager David Zhang. Welcome. It's so great to have you both here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, so obviously you guys had a big reveal last year at the PlayStation Showcase. What's your experience been like since that uh, original release? Yeah, it's way over our best expectations and we were overwhelmed by all these positive feedbacks from all over the world. We can't thank you enough for loving us. Mm -hmm. And today we're bringing you something more exciting. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for showing so much support for the game. Um, for all of our previous uh, promotional material, we showed a lot of cinematics, a lot of the story, and a lot of just like things to get people excited. And today we're here to show gameplay. So the point of this demo. Gameplay, yeah. yeah. mesmo, man. <laughs> yeah. Water. Yeah. So the point of this demo is that you know we have overwhelming feedback saying that the game looks amazing. Everyone's so excited. But like, what is the gameplay like? Does it actually live up to what the trailer shows? And we're here to show you today that it absolutely does. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we are diving into gameplay yeah. through the demo. What went into putting this demo together? Yeah, we'll, we'll play it here. Yeah, um, yeah we, it's really great to be here to walk you through the whole process of the demo. Yep. Yeah, you can see it's really a demo, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a work in progress. Yeah. 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 So yeah, let's go through the tutorial. I will be the guy who is playing, mm -hmm. and David will do the majority of the talking. Yeah. Okay. Sounds cool. great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, so right off the yeah. bat, uh, this is a demo. But yep. do we get any story beats in the demo? Well, for this demo, we focus on the combat itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. É isso aí. <laughs> yep. For this demo in particular, because it is demoed at SGF, we want to galera, um, Phantom Blade a whole Zero. Lot of for players to play. So we really want to focus on what everyone is most interested in, which is the core combat, the core gameplay that people are going to be engaging with most of the time. Yeah, so what were sort of your main expectations for players to get to experience as part of this demo? So um, the main expectations that we really want to shove all facets of combat. Um, so this demo is really put together to showcase a sequence of Rápido, uh, fights uh, with various different types of enemies using various different types of weapons that are going to be present in the game. Um, because we feel that um, right now the thing on everyone's mind is what the combat is going to be like. So that is what we want to show off the most. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, now, with previous trailers and sort of examples of the game, uh, there were a lot of Soulsborne comparisons. Um, yep. Would you say that those are accurate? Well, I wouldn't say that. Um, although our map is a multi-layer, multi-pass, Souls-like map, but actually we're combining the old, more old-fashioned, combo-driven, traditional action into a Souls map. Man, so no it's Souls like kind of a combination you don't know. of these, these two archetypes. Ah, combina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll see that, you'll see that, yeah. yeah. Souls like it's hack slash, say la. So yeah, it's combo driven and you have very fancy combo and you see it here. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Soulsborne comparisons, um, upon first glance, you might think it looks kind of like a Souls game, um, but really, once as soon as you see the combat, it's quite different. It's a little bit more akin to the combo style gameplay present in something like yep. Devil May Cry, é um for jogo example. Ah, lá. Um, very fast. Aí, mano, olha lá, o jogo é mais um hack slash mesmo do que Souls-like, tá, galera? Você viu aí, ó? 
Eles têm inspiração em Devil May Cry, brother. Naquele lance de combos decorativos, tá ligado? Que você decora e vai dando vários combos, assim. Olha lá, ó. Quadrado, 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 quadrado. Vamos lá. Fast paced, hyper aggressive, um, heavily inspired by like Chinese wuxia, um, uh, martial, martial arts. Martial arts. Mm -hmm. um, and something that's very kind of present in that kind of style of fighting it's is this like just attack first. Yeah, it's like very isso, acrobatic, very a lot of showmanship in the fighting, um, and we we really want to represent that in the game. Ah, lá, triangulo, triangulo. You just mentioned Devil May Cry. Are there animation cancels included as part of the combat? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, um, so there's a lot of animation cancels with both your primary weapons and later you'll send the tutorial you'll showcase isso, the phantom man. edges, which are kind of like these gadgets that you can use as well. Um, there's various ways to string together combos from uh, multiple weapons together, Nossa. as well as like your ultimate and then your phantom edges to kind of create these awesome long combo strings. Ooh. Yeah, that's always something that was super, you know, top of mind for me when looking at the gameplay. Is it just it looks yeah. so cinematic? Cara, so que coisa cool. mais like linda, mano. Sort of blends together very well. Yeah. Um, you talked about weapons. You can kind of see one of the weapons right yep. here. Uh, which weapon is this one? So this one is the one-handed sword, um, and then you can see on the yeah. other slot you have the dual blades. Yeah. Now let's shift to dual. Oh, blades. I spada dupla. Yep. So what? Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what weapons do players have access to, and will there be yeah. more available in the full game? Não, não, não. Deixa eu voltar isso aqui, velho. Olha esse combo, galera. Yep. Tá em má qualidade assim porque eles postaram em 1080 mesmo, né? Infelizmente. Mas acredito que por esses dias, né, toda a galera que tá testando lá vai postar muito gameplay. A gente vai estar tá reagindo a todos em 4K, com certeza. Mas olha aí. Olha esse combo que esse cara dá com a espada dupla, mano. The other slot, you have the dual blades. Yeah, now let's shift to dual blades. Yeah. Yep. So, what... What... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what weapons do players have access to and will there be yeah. more Deus, available cara. in the full game? In the full game, there'll be a wide variety of weapons. In the demo, currently, I believe we show four different weapons. Um, we show them across multiple archetypes. So here you see the dual blades and the one-handed sword. We also have like a long straight sword and then a great sword later in the game to kind of show off different uh, types of weapons. Actually, we have 30 in all. In total. 30, all right. 30 yeah. armas? Yeah. Caraca, velho! Yeah. And also we have this Phantom Edge, which is a secondary weapon. Yeah, talk to me about yeah. Phantom Edges. What, what yeah. are they? Yeah, it's something like this. O oh, louco! Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Phantom and Edges. You can also shift to another one. Uh, here is a bow. Ah lá! Mm -hmm. São nice. armas criadas de, através de magia, so there'll be a mano. Variety of Phantom Edges, kind of covering a bunch of different gimmicks in combat. So the bow might be used for, Armas for example, sniping down longer ranged enemies. Maybe if you want to go for a, a bit of like a pre-planned approach where you see an archer in the distance, you might want to snipe them before engaging with the melee enemies. Um, there with the tiger hand cannon, very flashy. You can actually use that mid-combo if you animation cancel correctly to kind of blast enemies right in the face or use it from a distance to kind of knock enemies to the ground. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's so the, exciting. The, the parrying system, I think it's a very unique system in our mm -hmm. game. Um, Let's show you the concentration mode, and you can move while you are defending. And let's do this. Yeah, so the defense... I in just the hold it here. Yeah. So there's a, there seems to be almost like a guard break mechanic. Can yep. we talk to me about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, like right below the health bar, there is your um, Shachi meter. It's kind of like a stamina meter. Um, Olha lá, a barrinha amarela debaixo do life. Um, and pretty much as you're blocking, de resistência. using this kind of block stance, it'll drain your Sachi meter. And once it's drained, you'll kind of like have be guard broken. Um, so you, so this defensive tool, it's um, easier for new players to Allah, use. Tá vendo? It have, it's on a limited resource, so you have to be careful when you, how long you use it for. Um, Nossa, que also, top, the man. enemy can also block your, your text. Ah lá, ele oh, também, ah yeah, lá. Right below there, how far as well. A defesa dele acabando, ó. Olha lá. Every time I see the combos, it's just Nossa. oh my god, this is so exciting. <laughs> uh, are there any sort of combos that you guys are most excited for people to find out in the game? Oh, so many, yeah. so many, so many. Yeah. We'll see. Muito combo, much, but, you know, yeah. we we got a, a very quick look at some of them right yeah, here. Yeah, you'll see in the real battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't even the start of the real battles. Huh? It's just the tutorial. So uh, it's right still the, in, to the tutorial. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. The perfect parry here. 
So there's a couple of defensive mechanics that I can explain. So first, I mean, we showed off the kind of block stance as like kind of the most basic introductory level of defense. You also have a parry that you can use. Um, you can parry regular attacks, or there is these blue attacks that come in where if you try to use the block stance on it, it'll drain a lot of your stamina, but you can parry it to get what we call is a ghost step. Yeah, let's um, see. We're gonna showcase it right here. So right oh, here is a ghost step, and what that is is um, it's this kind of like special uh, defensive tool where you turn it kind of. Se turn você defender the fazendo parry, acontece isso. Offense, and kind of e não gasta sua barrinha lá embaixo. Nossa, que louco. Amazing. You, you, can't, you can't parry the red. Yeah, you can't Olá, parry mano. the red eye attack, but you can do. Oh. But you can do this. Yeah, so for the um, the red attacks, um, yep. they're the other kind of like uh, heavy attacks in the game the enemies will do. And essentially these red attacks Ooh. cannot be blocked, they'll go through your block. But instead you can dodge it. Um, so if you dodge it regularly, nothing will happen. Se but if you hora certa, dodge né? and wait till the last moment to dodge, you'll also get a ghost step. Allowing you to kind of get in more damage and weaken the enemy for combos as well. I love it. It seems like there's so many opportunities yeah. to do combos. And this is their... Awesome, man. Ah, fião. <laughs> Caraca, galera, isso yeah, é muito so bom. The, um, ultimate ability in the game. So each weapon will kind of have like a different combination for its ultimate. Um, and you can see in the bottom right hand corner that purple flame under your weapon shows that you have an ultimate charge. Um, kind of oh, just fighting enemies will recharge it, but if you do, if you land ghost steps, it'll recharge it faster. Amazing. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. 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 Muito bom, mano. Yeah. Muito bom, Let's muito bom. Impressionante. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, so I know we've had conversations in the past. You guys have talked about sort of recapturing the, the spirit of that sort of PS1, PS2 area, that yep. creativity. Yep. Yes. Um, so I know this has been a huge focus for you. Um, how do you feel this is reflected in Phantom Blade Zero? Uh, you'll see. You'll see. I think it's full of innovations and very unique consideration about the uh, game mechanics. And we do a really tough work. We wish uh, S game can be in this studio with much resources. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you you can see here. Yeah, let's keep yeah. watching. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's not a Souls. Uh, it's not a typical Souls game. It's something very different. É, não é assim. Galera, esquece so, o lance de Souls aqui. This demo, é mais Devil sort of May Cry like mesmo, mano. É mais Devil May Cry 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 mesmo, mano. É mais Devil do this assassinations. Yeah. Ah, furtivo, olha lá. Tem que ter, pô. Ooh. É. Yeah. Very clean. When you observe from here, you can see the maps are multi-layered, multi-pass. It's a 3D map. Uh. Although in this demo, we only showcase a very small portion of this. And we can also shoot the other guy. Yep. Yeah, so here it kind of showcases a bit of like creative uses of the phantom edges. Yeah. With the bow, you can kind of observe the environment, snipe yeah. down enemies that you might be, Cara, it might be harder to reach. Vão rebentar, man. Yeah. São muito bons. There are many hidden corners. There will be a chest over here uh, in the real gameplay. Uh, but in the demo, we just take off all the objects. All right, so make note, guys. There's going to be a chest there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Write it down. The guy's <laughs> hidden in the corner. <laughs> And also something like this. Yeah, we also have like contextual movement in the environment like that. Um, yeah. In fact, there will also be contextual movement during combat as well, um, which we'll showcase later in the demo. But you know, they'll be able Cara, to slide down walls, walls, walls across, jogo, across um, different areas, and you can actually cancel all these and contextual movement options early to kind of find secret areas like this. É por isso que eu falo. É, eu sei que tem gente que fica bravo comigo quando eu falo assim, pô, Ubisoft dá pra vocês fazerem um combate diferenciado, mano. Dá pra criar. Nem tudo são coisas que nós já vimos pra copiar. Ex existem formas de criar coisas novas, né? Mano, Sekiro criou um combate completamente novo e delicioso. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. E agora eu tô vendo com esse jogo, né? O Phantom Blade Zero. 
um outro nível de combate, cara. Olha o combate que esses caras criaram aqui. Então, galera, a gente tem que cobrar sim, mano. É possível criar algo novo e satisfatório pro jogador. Cara, eu tô doido, doido pra jogar isso aqui, cara. O brilho do jogo é o combate, mano. Você viu os combos que, foi, que o cara foi fazendo, o, o lance do espaço fantasma, os pair... Cara, absurdo. São coisas que já existem, porém, num estilo completamente novo. Cara, animal, animal. É isso que eu quero. Da, yeah, uh, daqui pra frente, entendeu? Coisas diferentes. Uh, Tô errado em pensar here? assim? Pode comentar aí, mano. There will be a lot of hidden objects hidden in these corners. And now we're going to do another assassination. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get to the battle. So Some even the very basic enemy can do this acrobatic movements. So the combat, um, essentially, when both you and the enemy both still have your stamina meters, it'll be this back and forth of like high, high speed sword. Man, é muito combate chinês mesmo, né? Filme, mano. And then once you break the enemy's um, stamina and kind of break their stance, that opens it up to do a longer combo chain like that. Yeah, I love sort of like the, the ah, spin attack that we saw just earlier. It's super reminiscent of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yeah, like, You precisely. can really tell that there's a lot of those elements in the gameplay. Yeah, pretty reminiscent of the um, like old Kung Fu movies if you've seen any of them. Absolutely. Quebrou a estamina do cara, você consegue arrebentar ele, mas até lá ele vai ficar defendendo muito lá. So something you might know of the environments, um, something that we're going for is that it is very much like um, Chinese martial arts wuxia inspired, but it's also a combination of global aesthetics as well. Um, S coined the term um, Kung Fu Kung to kind of signify this kind of aesthetics art okay. style. Um, it's a combination of both like um, Chinese iconography with like the wuxia martial arts um, kind of uh, visuals, as well as like steampunk and even some sci-fi elements, kind of like some global aesthetics being put into this as well. So it's really a combination of a lot of things. Let's go to this boss. So this is the first boss in the demo. You can see the attack patterns are a little bit more complicated. So we're looking at this boss right here. How many bosses can people face in the demo? There are three in total. Three in total? Three yeah. bosses in the demo. Say, which one we should is the toughest? Oh, definitely the last one. The last, last one, one is tough face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's Very nice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Top, man. Top demais. And now we're moving on to the uh, second part, second level of the demo. Yep. Um, this will just be another boss fight. The first part of the demo was like a sequence of smaller enemies ending with a boss fight, and here we're just going to show off two more of our bosses. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. David, how about you are going to play this? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, I would yeah. love to. Now it's David yeah. on the sticks. Love yeah. it. <laughs> no uh, pressure. Uh, no the pressure. Long, long sword. Yeah, now you yeah. are carrying oh, a long sword. Oh, So you can see that the weapon switched in this level. Um, in the actual game, you'll be able to equip your weapons. But in the demo, we just want to switch them for the player to kind of show off yep. a couple of different weapon variations. Do you guys have a particular weapon that's your favorite to, to use? I love the dual blades, personally. Dual blades? Yeah. Vai ter coisas a serem polidas <laughs> ainda e tal, mas o plano está muito bem. Agora, fale-me sobre esse boss. Quem é esse e qual é a sua estratégia para levar ele? Yeah, so for this boss, um, he features a couple of range attacks, but there's a small gimmick that I'll show you actually yeah. where um, he starts off with this range attack that you can just block at first, or you can parry to save your stamina. But if he does it again later, I'll show you, you can actually run in and parry it if you time it correctly. Maravilhoso, mano. And here I switch weapons to kind of extend my combo. Oh, and I'm back on the defense. Caramba, dá pra trocar no meio do combo? Ô, oh, louco, olha lá. Tá com fogo no maluco. Karma, fantasma, lá. Oh, 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 Caraca, mano. Nossa, velho. I didn't parry it. <laughs> Olha lá, olha lá, fogo! Nossa, mano. 
A movimentação dos personagens, oh, mano. Oh, não. This one's a lot tougher than the previous one, so. Yeah. <laughs> We tuned down the difficulty for the demo, but yeah. it's still pretty tough. Yeah, so what, what is sort of the, uh, the difficulty meter, would you say, between the demo and the full game? Well, um, this demo represents um, in the full game if you fully cultivate the, the character. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be tougher in the real game if you don't progress the, the character, but it'll be easier if you level art it enough. So this is in the middle, yeah, somewhere. Nossa, mano. Take potion. O bagulho é muito brabo, mano. So here I use my ultimate oh. to cancel the boss. Oh. Yeah. Kind of extending my offense a little bit. Here I kind of ran in and parried the range attack. Yeah. Nice. There we go. There we nice. go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Muito bom, man. Take him down. Yeah. Do you want to take a <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The last one. This is the final yeah. boss. Yeah, right. this is yeah. final boss. I would have one or two tries, but I cannot <laughs> pass. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've seen a couple bosses so far. This one, I actually believe we saw a glimpse of in one of the previous trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is in the previous trailer. How do you, how do you feel now that people actually get to go hands-on against something that you teased so long ago? Like, is there like a little bit of more pride I'm around moments like this? Super excited. And and it's right. also very fun to see people being killed by the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, this boss has very brutal way to... to Take your your head off. Yeah, you can see that. This is the boss from the first trailer. So in the original trailer, there was a lot of acrobatic elements in this fight, man. and we wanted to show off that a lot of that that people thought was just cinematic. The the gameplay. Yeah, I will show you how he can kill me. Yeah, if I don't do anything. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's screwed oh, up. That is it's so cool. Up. Yeah. All right, now for real, now for real. Yeah, yeah now for real. <laughs> yeah. 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 But we have multiple ways to to get this. One of them is climb up the column. Ah la! Whoa. Yeah. Que louco! Yeah, Igual so mostrou no trailer, um, lembra no primeiro trailer, galera? There was showcase in our first trailer, and even though it looks kind of like just the cinematic in the first trailer, it is actually part of gameplay and a strategy you can use. É, não era like this. cinemática não, mano. Is that also something that you can use to extend your combos further? Yeah. Or is it mainly as a dodging mechanic? Yeah, so it's open to Nossa. kind of the player's creativity. I think Cara, adorei isso aí, velho. up like certain parameters to kind of um a certain yeah, affordances really for the players. Oh, players isso aí é mal, mano. They're here to figure out like different ways to use it. Very cool. Nossa, mano. Esse passo fantasma, cara, é maravilhoso. Nossa, ele vai dançando no chão, mano. Yeah, weaving in some phantom edges again to extend oh, yeah. some yeah. combos. So I'll leave it to you. Uh, I'll <laughs> die for this run and you try it again. <laughs> oh, sure. Right? Yeah, that's all Because good. I'm about to kill him. Yeah, we can show different style to, to defeat this guy. Yeah. Actually, it's not so easy. <laughs> S is making it look easy. He's probably played the game the most out of everybody. Yeah. 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 Cool. Very cool. Yeah. We saw the uh, the sort of like flail that he has yeah. switch to almost like a shield with like yeah yeah yeah. Out of it. Actually, this thing, this weapon is a it's a fantasy weapon in Chinese wuxia culture. It's called the Xue Di Zhen, naming blood drop. Yeah, it's a very brutal weapon sangue. that can go to your head and take your head off. Yeah, and your head is collected inside this thing. Ah, oh, that's cool. que louco, man. Yeah. O bagulho, essa arma, né, na, na mitologia chinesa lá, nessa, era a gota de sangue, eu acho que é, né, que ele falou, né? O bagulho vem, cai em cima da cabeça e corta, e fica, a cabeça fica dentro do, do da arma, mano. Que louco, velho.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> have this awesome. one trophy. Gibbs. Now, talk to me a little bit. I know, I know we talked about the sort of style, the Kung Fu Punk uh, yeah. aesthetic. How do you go about designing, you know, kind of key moments like this, you know, uh, having this, I guess, sort of temple that you walk into and yeah. enemy waiting for yeah. you? What's the, what's the thought process behind this? Sort yeah, of you always of see a combination of traditional things, uh, like this temple and everything, and you also see very creepy and steampunk elements like the, the shield and the, the mechanic hands so we always use uh, a very nice combination of different cultures to make this kung fu punk amazing some nice. there we go Abraço. Well that's it on olha man a arma tu louco guys that was incredible yeah. <laughs> guys that's it Soul Frame, David, thank you so much for joining me here and giving us this look at Phantom Blade Zero. Galera, na moral, mano, tô impressionado com o que eles mostraram aqui. De verdade, meu. Gameplay gostoso, de qualidade. A gente percebe que tem uma ou outra coisinha ainda que eles têm que dar uma polida e tal. Mas, no geral, mano, pra um jogo que ainda tá em desenvolvimento e tal, puta merda, cara. O combate desse jogo aqui vai ser muito satisfatório e eu quero saber de você. Você curtiu? Já deu aquela hypada, dá uma vontade de jogar, né? Uma vontade de estar tá lá em Los Angeles testando isso aqui. Puta merda. Mas é isso. Beijo no seu coração, comenta aí o que você achou. Eu achei do caramba, principalmente esse lance dele ser algo mais focado em combos decorativos, né? Você decorar combos ali pra poder fazer. Trocar um de armas. 30 armas, mano! Olha, velho, isso aqui vai ser espetacular. Tô feliz, tô feliz. E agora é aguardar por novidades, né? E quando eu sair algum gameplay e tal, provavelmente amanhã mesmo ou depois já vai ter gameplay em 4K, esse tipo de coisa. E a gente vai reagir, vai trazer aqui no canal pra vocês também, tá bom? Obrigado por tudo, beijo no coração. O link do vídeo original da IGN tá aqui no comentário, tá aqui na descrição, tá bom? Pra vocês lá dar uma espiada. Valeu!